When I did my H22 swap, I kept the soft line and the hard line that came stock on the car. I just bent the hard line and the clutch dampener out of the way. In this video, I'm going to show how I replace those with a single braided line. The easiest way to do this is just to buy a line kit for a 4th gen or 5th gen prelude, but those bypass this hard line setup on top of the transmission, and I want to keep it. I also don't like how those kits have a straight fitting coming out of the top of the master cylinder. I think my way will be cleaner. I'm using a 32 inch pre-made braided line, a 10 millimeter straight banjo fitting, and a 10 millimeter 90 degree banjo fitting. I've also got four new 10 millimeter crush washers and a used 10 millimeter times one thread pitch banjo bolt. I just took this one from the stock B20 slave cylinder. The last thing needed is a thread adapter that switches from 12 times one male to 10 times one female. I found this type on eBay and it provides a very clean install. There will be links to everything I used in the description. Pull off everything that you need to to get access to the stock lines. Remove the stock lines and use lots of towels to catch any fluid that comes out. Install the straight banjo fitting at the hard line on the transmission. Torque the bolt to 22 foot pounds or 30 newton meters. Start one end of the line onto the fitting, but don't tighten it down yet. Here's an example how the master cylinder side is going to look with that thread adapter. It gets a little tricky trying to get the adapter threaded into the master cylinder. I ended up sticking a bunch of washers onto the bolt, then the adapter. That lets me thread the adapter all the way in without the bolt bottoming out. I was able to unscrew the bolt without the adapter coming back out with it. But if it won't stay in place, you might try using some Loctite to keep it in there. When I tried to install the banjo fitting, I found the bolt threads were too long, so I cut roughly one third of the threads off. Here's how I installed the 90 degree banjo fitting. It hugs the master cylinder body pretty well, and I think it looks pretty clean like this. Torque the bolt to 22 foot pounds, or 30 newton meters. Double check that the line is routed how you want it, then use a number 2 AN wrench to tighten down each end. You can also use a regular wrench with some tape on the jaws to stop from marring the fitting. After this just bleed the clutch like normal, check for leaks, and you're done. 